If you're any kind of a baseball fan at all, you know that right now we're in the middle of the All-Star break. The All-Star break is a, a halfway through the season approximately, and uh, we break and the teams come together. You can see this going on over here. It's the Home Run Derby, which is during this, uh, the night before the All-Star game. And the All-Star game is when, you know, the best from each team is picked or people pick the best from all the players and and they go and play this game and there's also this home run derby you see going on here in the background and I don't always watch it I mean I like the angels and everything as you know but I don't always watch the game the all-star game or the home run derby but I'm watching it this year and the reason is because well because I have a horse in the race I don't know if you know this expression but I have the the players that are from my team are in it this one hitting right now is Shohei Otani from my team my angel team and so I I care more about the outcome I, I want to watch a game tomorrow I have several of our players are in the game when I don't have any in them I don't have a horse in the race this expression is talking about how uh, it's more exciting to watch a horse race if one of the horses is yours because you care about the outcome and it's interesting the term made me think of of our lives in in, in how we care about things if you're the mom, uh, if you're not the mom or the dad of the little league player, who cares? The games are not very good b baseball. They don't always play very well. They're entertaining. But when your kid's in it, boy, they can get really so they care. Why? Because they have a horse in the race. And you know, the th same thing is about how we pray. We pray more for the military if our son or daughter is in the military. I think that's a, a good reason to do it because we care about someone involved. Same is true, I think, with a lot of things. If your son or daughter is a missionary, you play for missions more. I'm sure of it. In fact, one missionary came by and uh, was sharing at church, and you know, he said, I'm not here to ask you for your money or your prayers. And I thought, wow, that's weird. They usually want both of those things. He says, no, what I want from you, what I'm asking for, are your children. We need workers. We need people to come and be missionaries. Plus, he said, I know if I have your children, I'll have your money and your prayers because you'll have a horse in the race. And, you know, this is so true. And we need to be praying for people and we need to pray for those we don't know. But it matters more when they matter to us. Even right now, as our ladies are being regularly involved in bringing things for the Women's Health Center, it's partly because we have someone in our church who works there and it reminds us all the time that the need is there. And so we kind of have a horse in the race. And you know, the Lord, he cares about everyone. He says he's not willing that any should perish. You know why? Because he has a horse in every race, in every group of people. He loves the world. He doesn't want anyone to perish because of his great love for mankind. And I wonder if we should also ask the Lord to give us more of his heart for the lost. Because if we had his heart for the lost, we'd always have a horse in the race. And we'd pray more for the lost. We'd do more to reach the lost. We'd give more to help reach the lost. You know? It's when you really have someone you care about involved. So, what a wonderful thing it would be for all of us to care as much about the lost as the Lord does. Let's pray for his heart for the lost so that we will pray more and do more to reach them because we care. Thank you, Lord, that you loved us, each of us, so much that you sent your son to die for us. You love the world, Lord. You love the lost. You see them with a heart that loves and desires them to belong to you. And I pray, Lord, that you'll give us your love for the lost, not just if our children are lost, although that, I know, encourages us to pray. Not just if it's someone personal, but to have your heart, Lord, for the lost. Your heart for those who need prayer, those who need you. So that we pray more and do more and give more to help them. In your name we pray. Amen. God bless.